As you can see, his hair is super dry and lackluster, so of course what you want to do is get your hair soaking wet. It's best to wash your hair in the shower because the humidity in the air helps keep your hair moisturized, but I'm washing my brother's hair in the sink for obvious reasons. I love this Tresemme Luxurious Moisture Shampoo, but in this video I'm using this Moisture Recovery Shampoo by Joyco, and that's because this is my second time filming this video because the first footage came out bad, and for the second video, of course, I forgot the black bottle. But they're both extremely good shampoos. I just like the Tresemme one better if I had to choose between the two. Now the purpose of shampoo is to clean your hair and scalp, but if you don't work out or you aren't in a dirty environment, then you don't have to do this step every time. And you can honestly just do this once a month and go straight into conditioning your hair. Next, make sure you rinse out all of your shampoo and start applying conditioner. Do not skip using conditioner. The conditioner I'm using is called Tresemme Luxurious Moisture Conditioner and it's amazing. Your hair will definitely feel silkier and smooth and moisturized after using this. Watch closely at how I'm applying the conditioner. This is key. I'm running my fingers through his hair to get out all of the tangles. Use a wide tooth comb if you need to. If you've never done this before, then it might be extremely tangled, but after you do it the first time, it should never be that tangled again. But when your hair is detangled, it helps the product get into your hair better, and it helps your hair be curly, because how can your hair curl when you have tangles and knots in it? And y'all, the most important tip I can give you guys is to get into the routine of washing your hair every week. Curly hair needs water. If your hair is dry, it's not gonna curl up. That's why a lot of people always say my hair is curly in the shower, but when it dries, it's not curly anymore. And that's because your hair is super dry and it's not used to getting water, so it doesn't retain and hold water. You can't drink one glass of water and then go months without drinking again and then wonder why you're still dehydrated after drinking another glass. Now, I didn't do this in this video, but if you want your hair to be moisturized and curlier even faster, then putting in a hair mask and sitting under a hair dryer for 20 minutes before rinsing it out will make it happen faster. And I have a DIY hair dryer linked in the description box and another video link that's going to show you the benefits of how important this step is. So back to what we were doing, conditioner is really good for your hair, so you want to let your conditioner sit on your hair for like... 10 minutes before rinsing it out so it could soak in and do work. So as you can see his hair is a lot shinier and healthier looking than it was before I washed it. So next I'm going in with this kinky curly not today leave-in conditioner and this is because his hair is really dry and like I said it needs to get used to being moisturized so I'm just running this through his hair really quick and this next step is where the magic happens. So next, I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie and watch what a difference this makes. It's getting his hair super curly and this is super moisturizing. You can honestly just use this and you'll probably be good. And as you can see, I'm spraying his hair with water continuously because we're out in the open air so it's making his hair dry faster and you want your hair to be soaking wet when you do this. That's why I suggested doing it in the shower because the bathroom is going to be steamy but as you can see every time I spray his hair with water it gets curlier because like I told you all hair needs water to get curled so if your hair is dry it's not going to curl. He still needs to work on washing his hair weekly so it can get used to water but his hair has come a long way because look at this clip from a few months ago that I'm about to insert. His hair has product in it the same way that it does now but it will not curl because at the time he was never washing his hair but now that he's doing it more it's getting more and more used to being moisturized so it curls up now because before it wasn't curling at all so washing your hair weekly really does make a difference.
out last I'm using this curl boosting jelly and as you can see his hair is already curly so honestly this is another step that you can skip but if you want to this gel is gonna make your hair a little more curly and gel also gives your hair hold so it's gonna stay in place and it's not gonna frizz or puff up as much as it would had you not had it in white but it'll dry clear even my hair is white after I finish applying product but that's it just wait for your hair to dry go sit outside let the air flow through your hair so it'll dry faster or sit in front of a fan or something now if you want to be extra lazy and do the bare minimum then washing your hair once a week with the conditioner that I showed you and then running the curl enhancing smoothie through your hair should be able to still get the job done. You just have to do it regularly because like I said, your hair has to get used to this routine and then it'll start curling. So don't give up, just keep at it and your hair will get better and better the more you do it. So if you look out the window, you could see it's dark outside and I had work in the morning so I wasn't able to get clips of his hair when it was 100% completely dry, but I did get a clip of his hair when it was a lot drier and as you can see, it's not as white as it was anymore so it does dry clear and his hair is still curly and it's not frizzy or puffing back up. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you found it helpful and check out some other videos on my channel.